So, good evening everyone! I just got the ping from Toby as well, they're about to start. Here we have a uh, oh, wonderful background for the two teams today. It's a uh, team scored up against killed by the boar. Should be an interesting one, they're uh, a bit closer than the last game that we had on the cast. And uh, yeah, I'm quite uh, familiar with Toby as a player. Um, that would be, yeah, exactly, that's Mountain. And for the opposing team, I'm a little bit less familiar with them, Killed by the Boar. I've uh, played a few games with and cast it as well, but uh, haven't played so much with. Okay. Okay, we have the map draft in as well. Excellent. Okay, and they should be heading in now. So. Uh, you gonna quickly... Uh, Announce it in the other channel as well. Okay. Okay. And we're going to try to find their game now, see if we can't uh, make that happen. There we go. Excellent. Uh, Dark Flame is pretty strong as well. There we go. <clears throat> okay, and that should be that running. Okay. So, um, Toby sent me the map draft as well over here. I'm going to see if I can pull that up. Um, let's see if this doesn't... Yes, my capture rage keeps running. Excellent. So... The maps they chose are well, Arabia's set, and we have Socotra and Nomad after this, if it gets to them respectively. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> but then, let's look at this game for now. What kind of Civ matchups do we have? We have for Darth Laming and Will Sniper, so Mountain for those who haven't seen him here yet. We have the Georgians and the Mongols. Very nice aggressive civs. Um, yes, that's correct, excellent. For a moment I thought they spawned on the wrong side. Uh, Mongols have a very good early game. They get extra... Well, not extra food from the hunt, but they hunt it faster. And with the Georges, you just have a very powerful tool in the mule cart. And normally you have to build a lumber, lumber camp or mining camps, respectively. Whereas the Georges have access to the mule cart, which can actually move around. And track the wood line or move to different resources as it's used up which is a very powerful uh, tool, especially into the late game. In the early game, I have found it a bit difficult to use because it costs a little bit of food as well. And it's just not familiar to play with, if that makes sense. So it can be a little bit difficult, but powerful tool. 
Then, on the other side, with the team killed by the boar, we have killed by the boar, who is about to not lose a villager to the boar. <laughs> and he is playing in the Britons, classic archer sieve. And honestly, I like that going into Georgians and Mongols. It's a very good choice. We'll see how it plays out. And in North as well, Magyar's classic cavalry sieve. Very good early aggression. And yeah, I'm just looking at this now. There's 19 seconds of idle TC for Mountain here. Oh, Luke will snipe for now, I guess. Um, interesting choice. And he's going out to. Is he grabbing the deer here? What's happening? Oh, I think he's gonna. Oh, he's going to. Oh, that explains this. Okay, I thought his build was strange, but I didn't realize how strange. He's going to. <laughs> he's going to. Uh, douche! He's going to head over and drop a TC in uh, the Britain player's face. Oh, but this could be. This could be really dangerous. <clears throat> a 19 vil pop is really hard to douche. Right. Mountain has scouted this. So we'll get some early action, so that should be very fun. Ah, that's a shame for uh, Killed by the Boar. He almost could have scouted that. Killed by the Boar, why do they do that with Georgians? I don't know. It's... I mean, gosh, it's not... It's not particularly strong. I can't imagine any real little benefits to this. Obviously, you have the mule cart at home, which is a tiny bit better for gathering, but... I don't love this. Not at all. Ah, oh, yes, he probably has loom. Honestly, maybe you just fight back here, but I guess he's just gonna rush it up. I'm not loving this position for Toby, or Mountain here. I'm gonna quickly check, is there anything else happening? Not really. Oh, but he got it up. Okay. He got it up, but... Oh, I'm not sure about this for Mountain. This is very... Very questionable. I can snipe the turkeys, that's something, but... I really do not like this. Oh, this... Maybe... Mountain thought he couldn't take, uh... And I'm calling him Mountain, Lukeville Sniper. I'll, I'll, I'll just go with Luke for now, because it's the in-game name and perhaps slightly easier for viewers to follow. But I do not like this. He's... He probably thought it would be too difficult to take them in a fight, just regularly playing up against Britons. And that he could lame him uh, to go and playing this way. And he has lamed him, right? But... He's just so far behind now, and especially if you can lame the cavalry player, it's actually better. In this scenario, laming the archer player, I think, is actually a big mistake. Because... Okay, he denied the, the wood line there, which is good. Okay, okay. It was actually a good TC position from, uh, uh, from Luke here. And yes, I'm going to call him Luke instead of Mountain because he's denying both of these wood lines, so he can't get the wood to repair the town center. You'll see here, yeah, he doesn't have much wood left at all. He's gonna have to on garrison now. Okay, <laughs> it's not as bad as I had feared, but... Now, okay, he, yeah, he's still stable here, but it's, the Magyar's scouts are going to do a lot of damage, and the mule cart doesn't have as much HP as a regular mining camp. I don't like this one bit, and now he's in. He bugged his way in, I do not like this one bit. And the archers from Mongols is technically a good choice, but... Uh, make it messy. So, in speaking with him uh, another day, I remember... Um, <laughs> Luke... Uh, gonna run with Luke. Luke told me that he felt you have to make the game messy against um, K 
killed by the boar here because he's a really strong player in standard play. So I get why he did this, and maybe it will still pay off, but he's got a lot of work to do to make this still happen. He's behind on villas by a lot, he just lost a lot of villagers. Yep, he, they broke through on the wood line here. And now coming in here... Okay, okay, I like this. A spear, two spears, and a couple of archers can actually do a lot of work if they can catch these vills. Yeah, and he's got the, tra the trail on the vills. Oh, this is kid. Okay. I don't know if this is a good fight for them. No, no this looks really bad for Team uh, Sorbit. Team killed by the boar, and then I was wrong. I'm gonna clean that up nicely, and he won't be able to deny the TC, I think. No, no, there's no way he can deny the TC. Maybe just snag a build in the best case scenario. Ah, no, he goes up too fast. But a, villi a villager, an archer or two, could perhaps harass the wood line. Maybe. Uh, what are we looking like here? 18 villagers to 18 villagers, 29, 28. Honestly, not half bad, but he's behind an entire age. Is he gonna head up anytime soon? No, he's just producing more bills. He's gonna probably try to TC drop again. Decent micro there, but <clears throat> still not really enough yet. No, no bills here. No, no, no bills for. Team uh, Skurte. So Dark Flaming is Skurte. Okay. Another couple of units moving out here. Ooh, this could be some nasty picks. There's a spear coming though, so you should be able to save these archers, yeah. It's a messy game. Which is something. I'm not sure it's beneficial yet for them. Um, Resource-wise, they're about even. It's an even villager count, but there's a whole age missing for... Oh, but these could be some good villager picks. Scouts are moving in to protect, but there are spears here. And that's another town center dropping. Another two villagers gonna go down here for sure. Okay, I'm gonna just save that bill, but we'll see for how long. I'm really not sure he had to run that far with those bills. With those archers, sorry. The town center could have perhaps helped fight there. Oh, you know what would be big brain? It would be to put these archers into the town center. Then they can fire away. I think it might do it. Maybe? No, no. I guess you can also run around. That's perfectly fine as well. I just think it could be a nice option to free up some more of the villagers for Mountain to keep working. Mountain, Luke. Luke Mountain! <laughs> okay. No damage coming in there for Sorbet onto Skurte. I've changed their names recently, unfortunately, so it's a bit confusing the cast now. But, rest assured, it is Skorta up here, Sorbet here, killed by the boar and mountain. Okay, the harassment is nice, but yeah, it's gonna get cleaned up. Ah, uh, if David's armies were together, this would be very... You know, maybe he does actually get the vills there, there's a chance. So the vills, the archers. Nah, too much damage from those Magyar scouts. The Magyar scouts have the extra attack and the armor now. That's actually very powerful. So the spear is still doing a lot of work. But by itself that won't uh, keep this clean. I would like to see a second stable if he hasn't already dropped it. No second stable by killed by the boar. So, by um, Sorbet, sorry. 
It looks like he's aiming for Castle H, but I think that might be a mistake. I say that. Squirt is already up to Castle. Oh, and he's running with his Vils. Okay. Uh, a couple of Vils here. Maybe a few of them go down. But scouts are coming. He might get one or two, but... Should be no more than that. Oh, I like this from Mountain, though. Taking the four farms here from... Yes, and he's already captured them, so he can't delete. He took these scars farms now from... Uh, killed by the boar, which is really good, because this feud is going to come very much in handy going forward. He must be aiming to head up now, but he's still quite a while away. Yeah, and you can't really kill these... You can't really kill these scouts if you're mountain here. <clears throat> it's hard. Okay, so if we assess the game a bit here, Skorte has a faster up timing than Sorbet, which is going to be helpful. He appears to be making a switch into Cav Archers, I'd imagine that is. Yeah, he's got triple archery range, which says Cav Archers to me. Another TC coming up here from killed by the boar. The villager count is still not really in a good spot for uh, Mountain. Mountain would want this to be better. He's got 26 villagers to the 18, but he hasn't clicked up yet, and he's still missing a lot of food to do so. This could be decent, but a couple of knights coming down here now from um, Sorbet will absolutely clean out this position. Again, unless he's protected by Skorta up here. Hmm. <laughs> KD looks amazing for uh, Sorbit, but I think this more closely reflects it. A lot of kills from both of the stronger players here, as it were. But we can see that both Mountain and Killed by the Boar are quite a bit behind. If they can keep uh, Mountain protected in this position here, especially with these outer farms, if they can protect this, then I really like the position actually for them. If they don't manage to keep those farms protected, if they don't manage to hold on to Mountain's position here. His entire position is really so volatile. And he's entirely reliant upon his Castle Age ally for protection here. And I don't see any cavalry archers in production there. Okay, he's got nine total. Oh, this could be some nice damage. Oh, and the Mongol ones shoot faster. Oh, that's beautiful. These guys just go. Oh, oh, there's a hole! I mean, they could just run around, but still. Two spears in here. Could do a little bit of work, but there'll be a few dead vills. Yep. Yeah. Three dead vills. Four dead vills. Yep. Yeah. It says five, but I don't see where the fifth one's from. Must have been another one. Maybe earlier, or just one that I missed. But some good kills here as well for him. They both lost a similar amount, but actually ever so slightly in favor of uh, Sorbet there. And he's still doing some more damage here. You might get another Vill there. Yep! Yoink! Okay, and Mountain is on his way up. Okay. So that's good in so much as they were able to draw some pressure away from Mountain for a while. And he's pinged him again. What's he pinging? Ah lol, that lumber camp is giving him so much vision, that's amazing. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh wow, MVP buildings right there. Cast. Oh, this guy's gonna cast? No, can he cast? Oh, there's no way. Maybe he's gonna try buying his way up. This is a blacksmith market play. 
Which surprises me a little bit, but I guess it's not shocking. It makes sense to try and buy your way up. Drop more TCs, get back into the game. No, I struggle to see how you'll be able to afford it. So, there's also another TC out here from the sword bit, and he's closing off his base. He got a lot of damage, honestly, onto Skurt earlier. Not... Oh, but now he hits Toby. Ah, oh, this is what I was saying. If Mountain gets hit here, he can lose. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, that's brutal. Well, man, how many bills did he lose there? This is what I was saying. If the Knights get in, then it's just gonna total brutal this great position that Mountain's been able to set up. Because he can't save them all in the TC either. Oh, that's brutal. And the Kavarches are nowhere to be seen. The Camels aren't here. Yeah, and he loses all of this. <laughs> he just lost 15 villagers there. He's gonna lose more if he doesn't hold this close. No, he pressed E! He pressed. I was thinking if he, if he doesn't... Oh, yeah. I was thinking if he presses E, then they walk into the gates to repair it. This is a really silly feature of theirs. You have to lock the gate there. Oh, 20 bills. Oh, that's gonna... And he was in such a good position. Look, he could have beaten, killed up to Castle Age, but... Now it's just pain. Pain. Uh, if he gets some kills here, that'd be great, but... Blue and... Ah, oh, they saw him coming by from the, uh, bills. Oh, they can get some kills here at least. This is a very amusing position in some ways, because both Sorbit and Skorta are essentially playing a regular game. As far as, you know, they've got a regular army set up, they've got their TCs and... Both Mountain and Killed by the Boar have got a lot to do to get back into this. But, it's 48 bills to 60 now, the second TC has been here a long time, and if you look at the idle TC, I'm assuming that'll be in favour of them as well. Yeah, a lot less for a sore bit than you would expect with two town centres in a game like this. So, it's about the same as Skurte, but again, the TC's been up for longer. <sighs> the damage here is just insane. Ah, uh, so much damage. You could actually put some of these wheels in there, but some of them have to run the other way. There won't be space for everyone, but... Yeah. <laughs> 22 knights is a dangerous number there. 24 cav arches is nice as well, but... Oh! Yeah, this is the problem. Cav arches can never do this. What is Darth doing now? Um, well, trying to get enough cav archers to stop this. Castle H is on the way for a mountain, but he has to repair his town center and pray. Pray he doesn't lose too many bills. Pray he doesn't uh, lose the TC. Does he have wood? No wood. Ah, oh, no wood, and he can't repair the TC anymore. No, he's got. To... Okay, he's out of game. He's got. No, this is over. This is over. They can. They can call it now. If he gets to cast an H, maybe there's a chance. But the only reason they keep playing here is because they think that this guy is still in a bad position. But oh, they think ah, the score says he's ahead, but we know it's not the case. He's got a lot of archer kills, and those are the last two bills from Mountain. We're gonna see a rare defeated here. Or not? No defeated? Does he have some production building still up? <laughs> the market counts as a production building. Yeah. Yeah. But there, that's the GG. For the raid from Sorper team. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking as well. But that's why I was saying I liked the position that they were in. But somewhere around here, I want to say. 
classic town bell ringing. Um, where is that point? Yeah, about about here. Ah, oh, yeah, actually, I'm actually pretty close to it. I knew it was on the way to feudal, but I didn't know when exactly. This is what I was saying, that he has to be completely protected by this castle age army. If these nine cav arches and four camels are down here right now, then there's actually a decent defense being put up, right? But instead he has them at his own base, because if they're down here, then Sorbet could hit him, right? Which I understand why he didn't want to risk that, but he really should have just walled and sent them down, and maybe there's a chance. Or maybe Mountain should have finished walling as well, you know? That's a fair point to make. But before this point, it was in favor of them. Well, not, maybe not so heavily in favor, but it was at least in a good position. He's a decent bit ahead, still off killed by the boar. He's going to beat him to uh, Castle Age if this continues, but then. Then just too much damage that comes in. And Sorbet was in a better position for most of that game, eco wise, above. Scorte regardless. A shame, but um, that'll be one game for them. Can I update? Um, oh, the hell's yeah. Best of three. Um, bracket. Oh, this is fine. Excellent. Let's see if that works there. Um, okay, can I apply this somewhere? Okay, excellent. Um, yeah, well, that worked. Very nice. I may call it by the bar sweat. Indeed, indeed. I think that was a good. Oh, good. I think it was a decent strategy at the very least. Maybe, honestly, maybe the best option they had, because uh, Kill by the Boar is quite a strong player. But I think in this match, um, Skorta had to do more to protect. Or maybe Mountain just had to wall off here. Hard to say. But let us not spend too much time on that because we have another game to spectate. Um, let me see. Um, I need to go find the next game. Uh, let me go find them. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's something else. Oh, well, I think that's good. <laughs> In a game, that's quite funny. Mm, I do not see him yet. Gonna quickly switch over to the break screen while we wait then. Oh, ba -dum -ba -dum. Let's see if we can't find them. The next map we can expect to be Socotra or Nomad, I see. And actually I can quickly double check if we have the lobby yet. Okay, I'm no lobby yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly check for this. Because I saw that they sent me the draft here. 
Let's see if I can pull that up. Ah, there we go. Quickly have it behind there, team overlay. Okay, so for the draft, we have the, um, exactly on the right with Mountain, we have team uh, Scooter, and on the left, we have team Killed by the Boar. Yes, exactly. So, okay, Persians with these sniped. And they just played to Georgians and Mongols. I'm not sure I love their draft here. Koreans is an interesting pick. Must be for probably Nomad. Or could also be a powerful map to play on um, Socotra, actually. I think Nomad Socotra. For Socotra, Malay maybe could also be good. Honestly, I would have thought Mongols could be strong there, but they chose against it. And Malians. And. Malians and. Armenians maybe for Nomad. Koreans for Nomad. Koreans, Malians is strong. Not sure what they're going to go for there, but that there are quite a few combinations which work. Malay, I would be surprised to see on on Nomad. On Socotra would make more sense for me personally. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure we'll see Malians on Nomad. Armenians, Koreans? I do not know. Although I slightly prefer... Well, Koreans get free upgrades on their towers, which is great for Socotra. But they also get war wagons, which is great for Nomad. And Armenians are decent, just because they're a decent sieve. And then if we switch over to the other team, we have... Britons was already used on Arabia, same for Magyars. Pretty classic picks there. Then for Nomad, maybe we have Portuguese and... Maybe Portuguese. Turks, perhaps? I'm not sure. Turks is really good for... Turks could be really good for Socotra, potentially. They have decent imp timing and... Well, imp timing. Not relevant in the beginning, obviously, but late game that can make a big difference, having free chemistry. With short resources, that's always a good sieve. And Socotra, you're normally pretty short on resources. Um, two tins, Lithuanians. Lithuanians probably for Socotra as well. And two tins is good on Nomad, I think. Not sure I'd say good, but I can imagine it being decent. Hard to say. Hard to say. And yeah, Spanish and Frank spans both make sense. Let's see then. Okay, that's interesting. I guess we'll find out soon what they're going to be playing. going to refresh the lobbies. Let's see if I can find them. There we go. And the next game is up. And as expected, it is indeed on Socotra. <laughs> okay. Let me just load this up. And we'll be in in just a moment. There we go. Okay then. And let's see what we've got here. Um, Turks, okay, as expected. Teutons surprises me a bit. I would have thought Lithuanians are a bit stronger, but I guess Teutons with their cheap farms are good as well. Um, and on the other side, Malay, yes, that makes sense. And for Mountain, the Koreans for their towers. Very reasonable. Very nice. That's pretty much what I was expecting. I could have imagined some kind of... Well, some kind of... I could have imagined Lithuanians being strong here as well. 
Ah, but of course, the Tuchin Towers also make sense. If he decides to go for any kind of tower play, Tuchins are very nice in counteracting that. Oh, and we have some laming happening here. Um, Score to ran forward and he, he, he's denied the berries here. That's excellent. Villager took some damage though, but uh, nothing too tragic. Let's see if we missed anything else. Um, doesn't seem to be anything happening here just yet. Oh, please, get off, get off, get off the other one. Is it already up? Is there something already here? I wasn't sure that there was something there because I couldn't click it, but... Is it? Excellent! I mean... Uh, that's gonna annoy them. He has to send another villager over. That's two villagers which are idle whilst this last can just run back. I'd be very surprised if he can do anything to this. Oh, if he runs through there, maybe he can do something, but he does not uh, does not manage anything there. This is very good. This is very very good for Skurte. Of damage on the scout, nothing major. He wanted to bring a villager forward, maybe as well there. But yeah, you can see this is definitely quite, uh, quite painful. And melee don't mind going up a bit later; they have plenty of time to go up because um, they age up faster. But I think he had a bit of idle TC there. Yeah, definitely quite a bit more idle TC there for him than for killed by the boar. But, as long as he can keep it producing now, that's fine. What's happening here? Oh, did he kill the... No? Let me double check what happened here. Oh, he just runs in. Excellent. Oh, dead scout. That can be very good on Socotra. Very good indeed. Still a poor berry position here. It's got a couple of villas taking it though, which is decent at the very least. All this time, sending a villagers to knock down the walls is a lot more time than the investment to make these walls. So this was a very effective lame from Darth laming here. Ah, and he takes the zebras when they're far away as well. This is very good. Can't kill them with the scout, unfortunately, to deny Oh, he's even gonna wall it in. I'm not sure that's necessary, but... Yeah, why not? He doesn't even know it's out there. <laughs> if nothing else, it'll be frustrating later in game when they try to expand to here. But, uh, it is not a bad move by any stretch of the imagination. Just, perhaps not necessary here. Okay. And we have both Mountain and Sorbet on their way to the Feudal Age. Time is going to be practically identical for both of them. Oh, he spots it. Yeah, he spots it very nicely. Excellent. Korean villagers have extra line of sight, which is very nice here. She's gonna try fighting. I think you have to get your own tower up, but... I understand if Tutan Tower is in Feudal Age, that's a bit painful. Scout could be participating here as well, perhaps, but he doesn't... He doesn't try it. Archery range. Okay, this could be really good. If he can get his archery range, he can produce a couple of... Ah! Oh, yeah. That's painful. This is the Tutan Tower bonus. Ten villagers can garrison and fire arrows. Where for normal villas, you can normal towers, you can only garrison a few. Okay. Okay, this is a good position for Sorbet to attack from. Very powerful attack indeed. Mountain has to mount. Technically, no pun intended, but it just happened. A very good defense here. Definitely doable. This was carrying gold. Yes, gold. Let's 
So, he's got some protected gold here, and a little bit of stone, but that's going to be tower. Yep, that's going to be towered right up. And he doesn't have any archers out yet. No, he's got two. Oh, he's got two in there. I'm not sure. He no, he's seen that, but he might still try it. That's... Okay, if he pops the archers, maybe. Oh, no, but he's got no fletching yet. Yep, he runs back with the archers. That's the better choice. And has to delete the tower. Can he still build another? Yes, he can. This is very scary for a mountain. Now, yes, preemptive tower is a good choice. I would have liked it a little bit more forward. But that's just me, you know. You pushed it down well, you could. Darf. Um, not sure what you mean, Limit. I th think you could have pushed it down while he could. Darf? Darf flaming, you mean? Did he have an option over here that I missed? He obviously is dropping a tower now. Do you think that I missed something there? The first tower. On this side. Ah, okay, okay, fantastic. I, I wasn't quite sure there. But, um, yeah, the first one he might have been able to bash down. And this one here as well, maybe he could have bashed down with the archers firing, perhaps. This is now... Ah, oh, this is also painful. You lose the archers. Does he have fletching? No fletching, but... No! He should be able to... Can he bash down this tower? I don't know. I haven't played against enough Teuton Towers, I don't know how much they do. This could be... painful. Okay, not as painful as I expected, but still, a villager down. What's the villager count looking like? Okay, it's actually in their favour for now. Familiar from the last game. Idle TC is about the same for both Sorbit and Skurte. Hey, <laughs> I just realised that perhaps Mountain and Skurte picked their current names very intentionally. With uh, Dar Flaming and Luke Vil Sniper, maybe that was something behind us. Oh, this is—they won't get many Vils. I don't think they'll get any Vils, but no, no, got one in the tot. Maybe even a second. One is. One is still again some damage. He lost two archers though, but those Vils are all quite low, which could be important later. Uh, he can still escape here, right? He's not fully locked in. He really has to get up to castle somehow and maybe start smashing these down with uh, mangonels. But it's a long way to castle age. He has gold access, so perhaps he'll buy his way up. We'll have to see if he can do that. And he's got a decent farm count back here, but yeah, one of them is idle. Maybe you deleted. Yeah, he deleted that. Good choice. Okay, the fletching coming in for. Ooh, fletching will increase the range on these towers by a bit. And the TC is slowly being ticked away on, but it's nothing too tragic. Yeah, it should be fine. I'd be very surprised if this became an issue. I was just surprised because I sort of only had. Uh, 2,000 HP left. Ah, oh, this looks like a interesting angle. But there's a nice amount of uh, army here still from uh, killed by the boar. Hope it goes to Sorbet's base with some archers to be annoying. Yes, agreed. That would be really good. If Luke doesn't, then he could have a problem going. Ah, but speak of the devil. Careful, you don't lose your archers here, mate. Yep. This army can fight this army. He just has to micro correctly and fight. Kill. Let's be those minute arms ran by there. That could have been, could have been quite promising actually, because uh, killed by the boar, I think, was a bit distracted with something there. Big ping there. Maybe he spotted. He might have spotted. 
Luke's army. Ah, oh, but there's a defensive tower up already. And suddenly, the entire potential damage is denied. Maybe he run the who? Okay, this isn't a terrible idea, but he can just set up another tower here if he really wants. He can set up a tower here. He can just do nothing. He can ignore it. He can set up a tower there. And then he's going to lose half of these arches at least. Difficult. Um, I feel that he's building a lot of arches right now, which could be useful, but yeah, he's just got too many towers up. You have to get to, ca to Castle Age. Oh, pain. If you get to Castle Age with Koreans, you can beat the Teutons in this tower war, simply because you get the upgrades for free. But until you hit... Wait, he's on the way up! How? Wait, how? Did he just... Just had a clean eco? I... I mean, I commented on his good farm count earlier, but I still thought it would be a bit until he got up, but... Lo and behold, he... Yeah, he just worked his way up. A lot ahead of... Sorbit. Wow, that's really good, actually. That's really, really good. That's actually great. Um, Will count is still even. Kill by the boar hasn't picked up yet. 12 archers on the... F this is looking really promising. Really, really promising. Sorbet will be able to click up soon, but these archers are still around. Even once he gets up, um, Sorbet will have a lot to deal with, and Teutons don't have any good answers to uh, archer play. They've got a decent work they can do against it, but nothing amazing. So, yeah, of course, melee get up first, even though they click later. Again, melee bonuses here, right? Really powerful. No armor on those skirms, so the archers can still deal with them. Uh, three skirms might be enough, to be fair. Okay, yeah, he'll be happy with that, I think. So. Now the question is, how much, he's actually got a really good economy. These back farms here have completely, completely saved him. Got a lot of space, which maybe they didn't expect because they didn't fully scout him. How is their scouting like? Because I scouted this now. They still haven't scouted this. Oh, me likey. Maybe I would like it a little bit further, actually. This is, this is very defensive. And with Mountain's army here, he could have... He could have allowed himself to drop it even here. Oh, okay. It's gonna be a bit of a race. But this castle doesn't fully range this. Yeah, okay. So this castle's definitely gonna go up. This one should as well, though. As it doesn't fully range it, anyways. <laughs> Taking outpost. A questionable stratagem. Okay, but Malay should beat Turks to Imp. Mm, Turks are technically stronger in Imp, but they have to get there. And that's a long way off. Eco for Darf is also better. Otherwise, from the... Let's see now, what do we have from the other side? Ah, oh, double Meganel. The villagers just standing here, casually, whilst the crossbows die. Guard tower! That's an excellent choice from uh, Sorbit. A Teuton castle right there. You won't be able to shoot that down, Mountain, but if you run it, you might be able to deny the villas. Maybe, that's a lot of... That's a lot of towers. A lot of guard towers. That's painful. I guess nothing will squeeze his way to Imp. You know, I guessed as well, but even if he gets to Imp, he doesn't have a castle up, so... And he doesn't have another TC, you know? 
Holy guacamole! That's a lot of villagers in the queue. That's gotta be the full queue, right? That's 7, 7, 15, yeah. How much food is 15 villagers again? Um, each villager is 50, so that's what... Uh, about 750 food? Wrong again? You mean Darth? Ah! <laughs> well, it, it wasn't that far off. I mean, Mountain has... Uh, if you count the villagers he has in the queue, that's about... Yeah, 700 food plus those two, 300. Yeah, I just noticed now. He still needs more gold though before he can click up, and he needs a second building. And he really needs a castle. Honestly. Imp! How? I thought the position was looking... Really quite good actually, but... How did he race up to him so much faster? Did he buy? Yeah, he must have bought. Yeah, he bought a lot of food. Lots of bought food. Lots of farms added. And he's on his way to Imperial. Okay, I feel like the game's slipping away actually for uh, Team Squirter uh, uh, right here. This castle in uh, Luke's base is really dangerous. Okay, Turks will be up just a little bit later. Malay bone is coming in clutch for uh, Team Skurte now. 57, they're slightly ahead in eco actually, that's pretty good. Won't be enough by itself though. And I'm really unsure of what, ah, oh, it's another guard tower. And now he's gonna have his TC pressured. Teutonic! Teutonic Knights! Let's go! This is desperation now because you can't take this fight. Teutonic Knights will clean up everything here. Well, everything. The bills. I do like this running back here for resources. Okay, um. Honestly? Okay, the towers are good. It could also potentially be an option for uh, sword beds to sling. Uh, killed by the boar. That could be really good. Free chemistry though means instant bombard cannons. No chemistry yet for melee. Bracer before chemistry. I do not like that, but he may not have a university. No, he has a university. Did I miss? Chemistry? No, we'll see in a sec. That's a really, really good tower. We could have an early end to this set today, gentlemen. Oh, but hill bonus, that's nice. Yeah, but he's gonna be too slow, surely. And I think that the, those repair villages are in range. We should find out soon enough. I'm pretty certain that if he right clicks them out of stone, he's out of stone. Okay, he bought a bit. This just seems like a really tough position. Back at home base. Okay, um, so we've got Luke on his way to Imperial. That's really solid. In the back TC, in the back TC. But there's no repairs more on this. And he could have ranged him anyways this whole time, so. Not surprising. Honestly? Ah, I'm not sure. He has some military out, which might be enough to protect his trap. And crossbows with Bracer will do very nicely against everything that they are fielding right now. the jazz series to the bombard cannons as long as he doesn't lose them to the no you can't in a low eco like that in a low eco game like this that's tragic 
losing so many expos there. Even they have the better villager count, their economy is not in such a great spot. Sorbet is still a while off from Imp. There's mountains about to hit. Chemistry is slowly coming in for the melee player. Yeah, Janissaries don't do so well against crossbows. Oh, and production and range of traps. Always painful. I really love the amount of towers here. This could have been Korean towers everywhere, right? If Mountain had been alive at this point to, uh, well, not at this point, but Mountain had been able to keep, to keep his army alive. And, um, well, not kept his army, but if he'd been able to get the castle age with a better timing, more stable position, he could have dropped towers like this to limit the options for uh, the other team. But now it was actually uh, Sorbet of the Tutans who was able to do this. Uh, I don't know if they'll be able to make a comeback to this. He's up to Imp, and he's got. He's got a forward castle here. He's going to start tripping down everything now. Oh, if he can deny... Oh, I don't think he... Does he know? It, you should honestly go straight for the town center in this scenario. I get why you're tripping the castle. It's it's such a high priority target as well. But please, trip the town center. He only has one. Maybe he doesn't know this at this point, but... He explored relatively recently because this... You can see there are no minerals, even when I select their point of view. But not that recently, either. Trebbing the castle's great, but stopping him from getting up to him would be incredible. That would potentially give them a way back into this game. As it stands, well... It's tough. This Hussar about to upgrade should go down quite quickly. He actually has one armor. Two armor upgrades? No, surely only one. One armor upgrade, but two experiments as well. Please go for the town center. Ah, uh, that's a big mistake from Luke here. If he takes the town center, he can still do it. Nah, nah, nah. now it's. No, sorry. Now it's too late, I fear. Now he's going for the tower. Ah, oh, this is such a shame. If he takes the town center, they 100% chance have a chance in this game. As it stands? Yeah, now. My dear sir, look how fast this town center melts now. He could have taken this so much earlier. And if you deny the imp timing, you actually sling yourself back into the game 100%. It's not even a question. Suddenly it's uh, an incredible position. They still have a chance, don't get me wrong. But just look at this. Nope. I say they have the chance just before they resign. <laughs> yeah, but an understandable resign at that. Not sure they actually had to resign here. I feel like their position isn't. I mean, I guess he's about to lose 20 bills here, and they can't really run. Yeah. Okay. I guess fair enough. But yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a shame here for Team uh, Skurte. They definitely could have. They could have done more. I think again, this imp type, this imp up, was part of what's propelled them to lose here. I'm gonna maybe go back a little bit and see more of the action on this side. There was also never enough expos to fully stabilize here. I do like the crossbow play, but he had to do more with it somehow. Yeah, not enough crossbows on the field, he's pop capped. 
He actually has decent res, but he doesn't have any production. This could be another 10 crossbows on the field easily, but... Only if you have the uh, time to mass, which uh, Killed Valvor is not giving him. He's keep keeping on pushing. Here they have the GG. I'm not sure about the timing of the GG, to be honest. Like, at this point, yeah, sure, it's, it feels pretty over. And I guess when this army swings over to Mountain's base, he probably won't be able to defend, but... I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe well, the chat has an opinion here. Do you have any... Do you think they could have kept playing here? Because... I felt like there was maybe not a good chance, but if you're out of the tour I mean, I believe that now this is the last game for Skurta's team. They're now out of the tournament. And I really think that this could have... This, this game especially could have been a win for them. A bit earlier they had a better position. I would say for this whole phase here, after Mountain gets to Imp, and this forward castle is really good. And honestly, on the other end, you've got good units that you're producing. But these... I think this is after he loses his crossbow mass. Yeah. Losing crossbows to sea just, just doesn't feel good either. up the army before you can keep sniping the siege there. Easier said than done, I know. I think Luke could have killed Sorbia. I agree. I think definitely that um, Luke can kill Sorbi. And I think that with a bit of... I mean, <laughs> better play, it's easy to say, right? But Because uh, he, he did play pretty well, right? Don't get me wrong. But I feel like Darth over here I think with slightly better crossbow micro, just keeping them alive um, would have gone a long way towards helping them win this game. If he has, if he has ten crossbows here, he can deal with the genosaurs, right? Instead, he just did a little bit of damage to the bombard cannon while uh, killed by the ball repaired it. And I get wanting to snipe those bombards, but. If you don't have a castle, I feel like military is the most important thing to have. Because having enough military on the field means you can stop his siege from coming forward. Now he should probably, even though there's a bombard cannon, I think he wins this fight. Yeah. Hard. And with those few hussars as well, that's hard. HP though. And the town center is down. Yeah, okay. This is when they lose the game as well. This is, yeah, when his archer mass is too far down. But also here, he could have probably dropped the rangers already. Like, again, easy to criticize from the perspective of the all knowing casting booth without any pressure, right? And he's producing crossbows, right? He's just doesn't have quite enough out. But like if he has another two, three rangers here, maybe a single uh, two, three rangers, maybe a single. Um, what's it called again? Siege workshop to produce. Okay, he's building a siege workshop. To be fair, yeah. But he's maybe too aggressive with this army. If you know you don't have any more army back here. It, again, easy to say, right? But I feel like there was an opportunity, needless to say. I feel like there was an opportunity for them to win, and... Uh, yeah, it's just a bit of a shame, because we don't get to see any more games now today. Which is... Uh, obviously a shame. Still, congrats to the winners. Um, very good games from Killed by the Boar and from Swordbeer. 
excellent defense on that. Um, gonna grind to the end. Excellent defense from that douche in the first game. From Kill by the Boar. A good try by Mountain. And yeah, just really good pressure then by Sorbet to come over and help with knights to clean up that yeah. army. And then, of oh, that army, that uh, base, that uh, mountain that Luke had in Killed by the Boar's base. And then this game, it was quite the back and forth. I felt like there was a good chance for both teams throughout the entire game. Um, really good pressure from Sorbet onto... Uh, Luke here. Just the guard tower upgrade was huge. It was an excellent choice. It really kept uh, kept uh, Luke from being able to move out and do anything for most of the game. Expensive, but really paid off, I felt. And then um, killed by the boar with an excellent aim timing. Bought his way up like one does. And was even able to get a competitive half time with the melee, who were in a really good position with uh, Darth Laming here. And Darth Laming went for the right units. Crossbows should trade well into Janissaries. But Killed by the Boar had good enough army mass, good enough micro, repaired his bombard cannons and everything. And he was able to pull out a win from it, which was really good, honestly, really solid. Yeah. Then uh, that is all for the uh, casting today. And could, perhaps I can quickly uh, bring up the bracket actually before I shut this off. Um, let's see now, do we have that? Okay, so yeah, now Team Killed by the Boar will progress. And. Up next, they will be fighting against either Team Limit or Team Elecry, which would be yours truly. So uh, we'll see how that goes, uh, depending on how the next battle goes, which will probably be coast, um, casted by Lumpan over on his channel. So yeah, if you want to catch that, then uh, you can go check it out over there. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go check out, go catch up with the two teams now in the other bracket here, in the other channel. And for the stream, I will wish, well, I will quickly take a pause and see if the players want to chat a bit as well with the stream. Well, actually, last games we didn't do a... No, last games we did not do an interview. Stimmt. Very good. Then, with that, I will wish you a good evening, gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I guess, potentially. But uh, <laughs> knowing the people who would normally watch the stream, normally we have uh, two, three people, and I think we're all chaps there. But who knows? Maybe this will reach far and wide. Anyways, have a good evening, everyone, and I'll see you around.